Hey guys, what's up, dude? I'm going to show how to create that advanced freeze frame transition in After Effects. So, without wasting any time, let's jump into it. Yo, we're back in After Effects after a long time, and now I'm going to show how to create the effect in here. So, as usual, we have this two clip on our timeline, which I'm going to make that transition on. So, for the first clip, go over to the last frame and just split. Then, just right click and go over to time and just hit freeze frame. So, our video turns into a still frame. Then, you can just drag out your clip to make it a bit long in the stopwatch in the scale we're gonna create the smooth zoom out effect right now then just start decreasing your scale then you can select those both keyframe hit the f9 on a keyboard to easy ease those and go into graph make sure you in speed graph and make this graph right here the graph will help a lot to make your animation smoother so please don't skip that part after you did that you will have the smooth zoom out and to make it more realistic we are gonna enable motion blur so we have that real motion blur then bring up your rotation and hit stopwatch in there then you can go into the last frame and for the first value you can just put one so it does one cycle rotation then you can select those both keyframe hit f9 on a keyboard to easy ease though then you can just make this graph right here you can just follow my step in graph or you can make your own and play with it then after that head over to position and not from the start but a bit further it stop us in the position then you can go around the last frame and just make it out of frame select those both keyframe hit the f9 on the keyboard to make it easy ease and just follow this graph right here then i headed over to rotation again selected both of those keyframe and hit alt and just dragged out the last keyframe then i played around with the graph again of the rotation to get that best look and we're done with our freeze frame then for a second clip once your animation layers end go over field frame and split the another layer then i'm gonna select my rotoscope tool and rotoscope out my main second layer if you don't know how to rotoscope i will leave a tutorial down below it's a necessary skill you have to learn and once you're done with the rotoscope hit freeze to lock in your rotoscope back to my main comp played around with the shift edge and the feather then as always duplicate your rotoscope layer and delete the rotoscope from the bottom layer then put your rotoscope clip above all of those clips. we're pretty much done but as you can see my max is uh, clipping right here because of the black bars were on the video to fix that i created the adjustment layer and added transform then you can scale up a tad bit to remove that clipping so at the end we have an effect like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like and you can also follow me in instagram i'm really really active in there and you can tell me in the comments which effects should i break down next so see you in our next video bye